Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMakeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can use a keyboard and a mouse on a Nintendo Switch. Now this video is just going to be a very quick one just to show you it working and then if you like the idea of it then I'm going to show you how you can do it in a longer video so I'm going to go into the setup in that video there. Now you might be wondering why you want to use a keyboard and a mouse on a Nintendo Switch. Well, it depends on the game. For example, if you were just going to do Mario Kart 8, then there would really be no point in using a keyboard and a mouse. But if you were doing a first-person shooter game, such as Doom, then there is a good reason to use it. Because a mouse can be much more accurate when it comes to aiming than using the right analog stick on either your Joy-Con or the Pro Controller. So a lot of people find it hard on a first-person shooter game to use an analog stick, while they find it much easier to use a mouse. So you could argue that even on a game like Zelda, it might be more playable when you're using a mouse, because then when you, for example, aim in your bow and arrow, I'm out of arrows, but you will be able to get a much more accurate aim when using the mouse because you can do very small movements that you may find hard on an analog stick. So on a game like Zelda, there's probably not much advantage using a keyboard and a mouse over, for example, the Pro Controller. But when it comes to Doom, a lot of people really do prefer using a mouse for first-person shooters. So let's get that set up. So on this game, I've got it set up so that the left click is to aim and then the right click is to fire. And then I've got a little scroll wheel here. And when I click in on that, it changes the weapons. And then, for example, if I want to do a glory kill, I can just press this button here because you can program different buttons to do what you want. Also, walking around the place, I've got it standard set up for keys, which is W for forward, S for back, A and D for left and right. And then I've got this one down here is to jump and this one down here is going to be my A button. So this is B and this is A. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work natively with the Nintendo Switch. You can't just plug in your keyboard or mouse and expect it to work. You've got to go via a laptop to change the input so that the Switch can recognize it. But as I said, if you're interested, look out for my longer video. Now, I've got it set to the easiest settings, which is I'm too young to die because I find this game really hard. And also, I'm not very good with the keyboard and mouse. I'm still learning because I'm used to a controller. So there we go. You can see now... When I move the mouse, it's moving up on screen, look up, look down, to the left, to the right, and then I can move around using my keys here. So let's say now if I wanted to shoot this barrel here, I can aim and then shoot. If I want to change the weapon, I can do that. So the idea is that some people find the mouse easier to aim with than the right analogue stick. Now, I can't show you much of this game working because it's an 18 and some of it can be a little bit gory, but you get the idea of it there. Right, okay, so if you want to know how I do this, then please watch my longer video. And as far as sensitivity is concerned, it can all be changed. So if you want it to move more slowly and more accurate, you can do that. If you want it to move quicker, it can all be changed via the mouse settings in the program that you use on the PC. So please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.